Hello and welcome back to sublevel zero. Last time we completed the first of our sublevels, and this time we're going into a new sublevel, which is apparently called the thermal processing plant, which is great. I don't like thermal processing plants actually. They tend to involve some form of ow, uh, lava of one sort or another, and usually said lava actively tries to kill us, which is, you know, it's, it's arguably bad stuff. So, uh, we're gonna go through here and see if we can find probably another piece of the um, engine that we're trying to make, which is apparently what we're trying to do, as I remembered last time. Oh, these doors. Those really don't open with a missile. I guess, can we just not go through those doors? That might be a thing. Or it may be the case that perhaps we need to do something specific to be able to open them, because I feel like all of those red doors seem to be associated with the number two. And I think we've gone through number two doors on the last sublevel. I don't even know. I'm uh, theorizing at this point based on very, very little evidence at all. So uh, do not take my theories uh, to be terribly serious. They don't mean much. They don't mean much. Get out of my face, boy. Okay, what else do we have here? We have a few drones. These guys don't seem all that much more dangerous than the previous level. Oh wait, we were using the pulse weapon, weren't we? Because this thing is just so, ow, 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 calm down, calm down. Because this uh, pulse weapon is just so much better. You know what I would like? You know, you know what would be nice? If we had some form of like mini map, a HUD mini map to just show relative position of enemies, that'd be kind of nice. I don't think we have that or will ever have that. That's. That sounds way too nice for us, but, you know, we, we can hope. We can hope that one day such a thing could occur. Looks like we can head down here. Anyone here? Hello? Did I come from here? That is a possibility. Oh, I definitely did not because there is a living thing there. I still need to remember all of the controls for the ship. With six degrees of movement comes six degrees of lots of movement buttons. Hello? Anyone else? No? Okay, fine. Fine, nothing to fight. Let's see what we can find around here. Any sort of equipment? No? Okay, fine. So I think, let's actually check something. If we go to, that's the wrong button. That's also the wrong button. Mm, I need to find the right button. I'm trying to find the inventory button. It's one of these ones. There we go. Okay, that's the inventory button. So, it. let's go to the crafting. It appears... Okay, I think we keep the same quantity of nanites from the last run as well. So, we did use... We did get a uh, status perk, the plasma regen because of the amount of nanites we got, but I don't think we spent the nanites on it, which means we now have 1,115, and we can actually purchase this uh, jump jet engine, which is pretty good. I do prefer that over basically every other engine we have. I mean, look at that. That is actually noticeably faster. Can we get this? What do we click? F, there we go. Okay, we got some sort of fireball weapon? What is this? It seems to be a single shot plasma weapon. Huh. I mean, it seems okay. I don't think we recharge our ammunition like we do in the other one. What is that? That's an entire hull. Hmm. Huh. Well, you know, I'll pick that up. I don't mind having holes and such. So let's actually look at our items now that we got those things. So we got the Razor Firebolt, High Damage Short Range Plasma Weapon. <sighs> okay. High Damage Short Range. I think we'll put our Pulsar right in the position of the Auto Cannon there. And we have a Standard Hull here. And this other Standard Hull. 100, 1600. Ooh. Ooh, favors primary ammo capacity over armor and secondary ammo. I don't know. Is that a good thing? I think that's fine. I think we'll go with that standard hull that we have equipped now, which was the one that we just picked up. Just BT dubs. 
So we'll get that done, and that should be good. Hello, can I open this? Thank you. By the way, it seems like all the particle effects right now are a bunch of hearts. I don't know if you noticed that. I'm, I'm, I'm personally off-put by that. Like, if I shoot my gun, it turns into a bunch of hearts. I don't know if that's a permanent thing, or if that's a temporary thing. I don't even know if that's a thing. Maybe, who knows, that's what they think dust looks like. Could be a thing. Hello? Oh my word. I see you! Get over here! Don't you even try to run from me, boy! I don't even think they're trying to run from me. Pretty sure they are fairly, in the end, um, unintimidated by my existence. Because, I don't know if you've noticed, but we're not necessarily the best pilots in the world. Just saying. What is this? Oh, it's a data log. And that's a wall of lava. I like walls of lava. What do we got for this data log? Come on, give us some juicy information. I know it's totally unfair. I see that ha that hardware getting unboxed. I want to play with it. Why do... Oh, wait. No, we've already seen this one. We've seen this one before we saw that first episode. Okay. That's the one where they're like, uh, there's something terrible going on here. Oh, no, I'm freaking out. And I'm like, would you guys all just calm down a little bit? It's fine. Don't worry about it. But they're not going to calm down at any moment. That's not going to happen. Hello? Ooh, what are you? I mean, you're obviously, obviously some form of enemy. Because that's just kind of how life goes here. Are they? Actually, they don't appear to be enemies. Are you not attacking me? Oh, it's a mining drone. Oh, how nice. I'm still blowing it up. I don't really care. It's got a lot of nanites, and I really want every single nanite in this ship. Because, you know, nanites are nice. Plus, I'm a dirty capitalist warmonger, so there is also that small issue. I guess that's our new uh, headcanon for this. We're dirty capitalist warmongers attempting to invade... What, a communist enclave? I don't know. I generally feel like the, the most common thing that a capitalist will try to invade is a communist enclave. And... Likewise for communists. They're just natural predators. The capitalists and the communists in their natural environments will attempt to feast upon each other. Um, unfortunately, that will usually result in a lot of explosions, but you know how it goes. Oh, hello. Who are you? It's a sniper. Well, that's actually a pretty good sniper because he's pretty tiny. And tiny snipers tend to be pretty effective at ambushing people. Okay. So we're definitely getting some new enemies out in here, which is nice because our older enemies are not what I would call particularly dangerous. They're actually quite weak. So seeing some new guys in here is quite nice. What is that sound? What is that sound? What are you? Oh my word, it's a drill robot. Why has the music just gone terrible? I need to uh, try to avoid this a bit more. It ends up that hitting the lava does in fact damage us. I think that was a mini boss. And I'm pretty sure that's still an enemy. Jeez. Did we just get attacked by a mini boss? That was terrible. I don't want to do that again. Can we not do that again? Because uh, I was freaking out about a giant drill. Rusty auto cannon? Interesting. I mean, I'm going to level with you. I really don't want that equipped. I mean, anything rusty auto cannon sounds pretty darn bad. Okay, can we just equip this into there? There we go. I do like these two weapons, though. They're pretty darn good. Our little plasma weapon here. Not our plasma. Our energy weapon here is pretty nice. And the uh, plasma weapon is pretty solid for more sturdy opponents it seems as well as you know rockets that is a thing we don't use very many rockets because there is definitely a limited quantity of those get out of here don't you even be gone i hope that you understand all of the mistakes you've made in your life to come to this point mostly just existing in this hulk oh there's another one of these guys i'm gonna take a guess that these aren't actually out any form of mini boss. I thought the music changed a lot with these guys, but I, I think that since you know they've shown, they've shown up more than once, that probably indicates that it's not 
something terribly special. It's just a slightly more powerful enemy than the average that we have around here. Oh yeah, these guys are normal. They are 100% normal, still incredibly dangerous, and I still don't like them, and I'm missing a lot of, what the heck is going on? What are you? There's some sort of like barrel rolling enemy. Now there's fire jets everywhere. Why is life just have to be so hard? Why can't we just have nice things? Why? People, answer, answer the question. Why can't we have nice things? Okay, looks like we got some form of standard engine. Oh, I see. I've been equipping everything because I've been, um, oh, what the heck? Because I've been holding down the pickup button instead of pressing it. When you hold it down, it actually equips it. Assault engine. That's interesting. Um, okay. Oh, 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 there's another one of those guys. Those guys are dangerous. Like, they do some serious damage. Mostly because they're just, like, machine gunning the heck out of this place. Okay, we need to make sure we don't get hit by any of these. Oh my goodness, how many of them are there? We're about to explode terribly, and it's gonna be bad. And I don't like bad things. Unless it's me. If it is me, I, I do actually quite enjoy that. Savage Firebolt? I think that's worth a little bit of uh, dropping a thing or two for it. Let's just uh, grab that thing. And then, hello? There better be health in this. Because if there isn't health in this, we're pretty much done for. Hello? No? Okay, fine. I see how it is. Uh, let's just try to... Can we heal ourselves? No, we don't have any health. Yeah, I think we're dead, guys. I think I think we're gonna die. I mean, I don't mean to be that guy because, uh, you know, nobody likes that guy. But it's probably not gonna turn out well for us. Weak minigun... Oh, can we get this scout engine thing out of here? It's kind of making it hard to see. Let's see. Okay. So we've got some crafting options here. A weak minigun and a clumsy minigun. Both of which seem pretty bad. But we also have a savage pulsar. Which is slightly lower rate of fire. Higher damage. Lower accuracy. But it is significantly higher damage. And not that big of a drop in rate of fire. So that's probably worth it. We got the razor firebolt and the savage firebolt. So this one just has a decrease in accuracy for a tiny bit of extra uh, damage, which is not really worth it, I don't think. So we've got the jump jet here, and we've got... Oh, yeah. Yeah, this assault engine isn't all that great. The dumb fire standard hull. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's how it is. That's how it is. That is all that we got here. And we've got... Nothing to be able to craft that's of any particular use. So I guess we'll just drop a few of these things, like the rusty auto cannon will drop, standard hull, standard engine, as well as potentially the assault engine, because I don't care for it. And that should be good. Okay, let's do this. We have nine health. I think if we get hit by basically anything at all, we're dead. Ooh, a blue key. Hey, 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 hey. Calm down, calm down. I don't mean to be that guy. But I'm just here to say hello and blow things up. I, I will stress mostly the hello. Although that's not actually true. I'm lying. It is out. We have one health. We have literally one health. I can't even believe that one. That's actually pretty impressive that we survived with just one health. Ooh, a Razor Auto Cannon. That sounds nice. Um, hello? Anyone here? There's a chest and it's unopened. Meaning that in all likelihood we haven't been here. If we haven't been here, there's a good chance that there's something trying to kill us. Yo! Show yourself! Be not the ambushing coward that you are! Oh, I guess there's nothing here. Okay, there we go. I like that. Oh, good lord. No, it was a trap! It's a trap! Oh, I keep forgetting that I have to... That this is not an automatic weapon we're using here. Jeez. Ugh, life, as usual, relatively difficult. Ooh, there we go. Let's use that guy up. Oh, wait, I've been... 
I've been immediately using every single health pack I've picked up so far. That means we could have had so many health packs, but I guess I just wasted them all by accidentally like using them while I picked them up because I didn't read literally anything that was on the screen. So, uh, huh. Well, the, the current, ooh, what the heck? Well, the current situation of us being near death is just completely unnecessary. It just so happens. Um, yeah, uh, that that be that be my fault. Uh, we're gonna blame that on me and on uh, the system as well because I like blaming things on the system more than I like blaming things on myself. So it's just just a small thing there. Okay, so we're using the blue key to enter here. And what do we got in here? This kind of looks like a room that should have. Oh yeah, there we go. I was gonna say this looks like a room that should have a piece of the engine, but it's up here. It's just around the corner. Assuming, of course, that nothing kills us before we get around the corner. Let's see, what do we got? Hello? I don't see anything. No, don't you close door. I'm gonna blow that up. I'm gonna blow it up so hard. Holy crap. What the heck? Is it? Shooting lasers You're not allowed to shoot lasers That's not allowed that's against the rules I'm just gonna stay out here. I'm not going in there. That's a bad idea Like talk about bad ideas going in there is basically the worst Okay, cool. We've got some form of health kit here Which we're gonna use immediately because we're dying out. We got a cruel auto cannon. We got hit by fire Anything else that we can pick up here? Doesn't look like it. I think we've done a pretty good job, actually. I mean, I'm gonna go through here to see if there's another chest on this side. I take it back. Apparently the door does not open. I think we're stuck in here. We're just gonna have to pick up the flux drive component, which should be perfect. Well, ooh. Oh, and then do we go in here to finish the level? Oh, I see. Cool, okay. And now we have to choose from one of our nano carts. So we've Acquired 1,747 nanites and gained one nano cart. So what are we gonna get? We could do interest, small amount of bullet damage regeneration when your gunship is low on ammo. That's not really useful. We don't use bullets. Plasma weapons do significantly more damage, but damage done by bullets and energy weapons is slightly decreased. <sighs> that could be worth it. I think... I don't think we want nan nanite pickups to be higher because, quite frankly, nanites don't seem to be terribly useful. I think we're getting more than enough to do all the crafting that we need, so I think we'll just pick up Plasma Specialist. And that will bring us, for now, to the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. Next time, we will continue on to the next level, hopefully get ourselves yet another piece of the engine, not waste every single health pack we ever see by immediately using it when we're already full on health, which is, yeah, we, we were doing that. It was bad. And we'll see how far we can get next time. So until then, thanks for watching, and of course, as always, enjoy the rest of your day.